Oh hey girl, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be the top 10 most sexiest fragrances for a date night. So I'm gonna start off with a very classic fragrance and I've never talked about this in my channel because this is a new favorite for me. But this goes way, way, way back then when I used to be a housekeeper. I remember this beautiful girl walking in front of me and leaving this delicious, sexy scent trail. When I went into her room, indeed, this was what she had in her in the in the bathroom, and it's Coco Mamusel from Chanel. This is absolutely amazing. It's long lasting. Now, this is one of those fragrances that, that you do not have to worry about reapplying. You just spray it on and you are set. The only thing you have about this one is that maybe your date is gonna be like, hmm, I've smelled this before, but honey, this changes on everybody's everybody's skin. So everybody's different, but y'all, this has a very citrusy very strong, citrusy, fresh, classic, elegant. You know when people talk about elegant fragrances? This is one of them, and this is absolutely amazing. It lasts forever and ever and ever on your skin and on your clothes and on your hair, girl. At, you go like this, and that guy is gonna be like, whew, he's gonna be smelling you. And actually, my husband thinks that that smells absolutely sexy, sensual, and delicious. Now I'm going to go with one that if you are a classic to my channel, uh-huh, you know that I love YSL Libre. Libre. This is Libre Intense. I was not a big fan of Libre Intense until... I started mixing the OG with the Intense. So what I do is I go heavy, heavy, heavy on the Libre, and then I do a spritz here and there of the Intense because this has a very delicious vanilla that it actually makes the fragrance last a little bit, or not a little bit, way, way, way longer. So it enhances this, but you guys, this is my favorite, like hands that, hands down, Hands down, this is the most delicious, most seductive, most sexiest, most sensual fragrance that I've ever smelled. This is actually uh, one of my signature scents and I be rocking this and I be snatching some souls. And by snatching some souls, I be snatching my husband's soul. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is heavy on the lavender. This is this is for summer, so these are all some type of freshy, freshies. They're not super dense. Well, I have some dense ones for y'all, but not this one. This is so sexy. Like, I know that it might sound repetitive, but this is so sexual. Like, this is one of those fragrances that when you're gonna do the hunk of punky, you're gonna wear. And yeah, date night. Like, I, I, I can be smelling this and zoning zoning off because this is that good with that heavy heavy lavender this one has that heavy lavender but with the vanilla so it's a very killer it's it's a it's a killer fragrance now i'm gonna go with one no i'm gonna leave this for the last okay girl this is carolina herrera very good girl and girl i would i use this fragrance a lot you know what i should do i should actually do a what I wear, right? Because I be wearing this like there's no tomorrow. This has such a delicious rose, but it's that modern rose. It's not that old, um, <sighs> okay. Remember when the whole Montal and the whole Mancera type of rose came out, Delina? It's not that, it's, it's headed more for the Delina rose, but this is, a tart rose this is girl it's tart it's a rose it's modern it's kind of messy it's not like ooh, you know it's not that type like oh um, it's so well blended it's not that well blended because you can smell the rose the tartness and in a whole bunch of shebang that you're like what the lychee you know a lot of people compare this fragrance to Delina Exclusive. I think Delina Exclusive is a little bit more mature than this. This is like the Delina Exclusive uh, cousin, you know? She's like, she wants to smell good, but she's a hot damn mess. 
and she's fun and she's bubbly and she is sexy and she's careless and she's a fun girl okay that's what this one is vanilla lychee and tartness and rose that's what this has but you guys this is absolutely fabulous and i get compliments with this a lot okay and by i mean compliments you guys i don't really get that many compliments out from the in the street like yo excuse me excuse me what are you wearing no it's like usually here by my family they're like oh mom you smell so good like girl that's a keeper when when my when my kids compliment me and my husband okay this is for my coconut lover oh yes so this is alien goddess the original and bitch do you want to smell like sex on the beach this is it this has such a creamy vanilla now i am a lover of the goddess the original i can't do the intense that much but if you love intense girlfriend go on and get the intense and use it up but they smell very similar except that this one is more creamier more milkier more uh, easy going more I don't know but I get this one to be a little bit more elegant than the other one more sexy more like ah, you know like I can smell easily and I don't have to be like I'm not offended by your smell the intense I feel like it can be a little bit offend like offensive to the nose but this one has roses what has roses <laughs> the hell this one has white florals in it that they're just so so this is a well-blended fragrance. This is creamy and coconut and beachy and delicious. And you know, you're at Bora Bora, you're in Hawaii, you are in Cancun, and you're rocking this. And this is not going to leave you down, honey, especially paired with the Tom Ford, the, the Sparkle Sparkle, ya tu sabes, or even the Vaseline Sparkle Sparkle. That's the one that I used all year uh all last year i used that one the oil that has a, the the little shimmering the brown shimmer girl i was glistening to the goddess have you guys heard about that here in vegas they cut some aliens i'm just like eh. where are the aliens like i want to see them <laughs> but girlfriend i haven't seen them yet so I, sometimes i'm in the background I'm like girl no i'm just lying i'm just lying no 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 a little humor here and there okay okay now i'm gonna talk about this one that i can't fuck with <laughs> i can't i can't you guys this is so strong that it, i'm just like girl i'm gonna scare the aliens away with this <laughs> but anyways um yeah the shit that happens here in vegas now i walk every night i'm just like can i see a ufo now because i have not I, I have yet to see one i'm like i live in in, in las vegas and i'm just like where, where y'all at where y'all at because i don't see you guys <laughs> anyways um if they're in my backyard i'm gonna spray them away from this anyways this is a dupe for herba pura from zerjoff and i actually ended up purchasing a little sample of herba pura i couldn't with it it offended my nose in such a way that if you are familiar and you love your niche girl it's all but there's some niche notes in there there's some notes in niche that kind of are <sighs> annoying to my nose okay and they hurt my nose literally this doesn't have that one but this smells just like herba pura and <sighs> This is from Orientica Royal Amber. This is a fruit cocktail. This is strong. So this is one of those, all of the fragrances that I am uh, presenting to you, they all have a good stain power. But this one, girl, they're going to smell you as soon as you come into the restaurant, as soon as you come into the movie theaters. Ya tu sabes, everybody's going to smell you. This has fruit and fruit fruit and girl this is just fruity as hell like imagine the fruitiest fragrance you've ever smelled that's this with a niche note an elegant wearable um not juvenile it's very mature this is what that is but this is dangerously strong so this is a good um 
bang for your buck. If you know what I'm talking about, about that niche note that uh, niche fragrances or uh, Zerzhov have, this doesn't have it. So I think you're going to love, love, love this one. So this is Orientica. You're not going to go wrong if you are my fruity girl, okay? But by, by fruity, I mean YSL, Montpellier, that type of fr fruity fragrances. Um, you know, that strong fruity fragrance, that's what this is, okay? Strong fruity fragrance. Now I'm going to go with one that is absolutely sensual, sexual, and it is divine. This is a niche house. This is BDK Passessoir. This BDK and me, they know exactly what they're doing. They do it so good. They don't like put that note in there and be like, yeah, 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 yeah. You smell that note? That's, that's the niche. No. This is so beautiful. You guys have to get your nose on this, okay? If you can start off with any niche, this is a niche perfume, yet it's still very affordable. But if you would, if you could start off with the niche fragrance, I would say that start off with BDK Passessoir. I can't really see somebody being like, ew, this is offensive to me. This is absolutely sexy. This is absolutely delicious, and this has a very strong quince uh, note that I don't have any, I don't think I have anything. Nothing compares to this, okay? This is absolutely elegant, delicious, sexy. It's a fruity floral also. And it, it, it I, I can't explain this fragrance. It's just absolutely divine. It's delicious. It's sexy, sexual, yato sabes, all that in a, bag of chips oh, okay now i'm gonna talk about one that i don't really mention because this is for my girl that this is another um niche house but this is for my girl that she is absolutely careless yeah this is for my girl that um she wants to go on a date she doesn't really like the guy but she needs to eat she's hungry you know so she he's like do, 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 hello. Yeah, you want to go on a date? And she's like, oh, but I don't really, but I'm hungry. That's her, okay? She's hungry. And then she, she's careless. This is a cupcake, uh, <laughs> whipped cream, ice cream, pineapple. This one is a complete mess. A lot of people say that this smells very cheap. I don't think so. I just think that this just smells good. Yeah, that's it. Like, she smells good. She's she's that girl. She smells good. She's playful. She's careless. She's hungry. And yeah, you want to go watch Spider-Man? Yeah, let's go watch Spider-Man. You know, you want to go watch The Hook? Okay, let's go watch The Hook. You want to play Xbox? Yeah, let's play some Xbox. Some, you know, that's her. Like, she's careless. She's living her life and she's outgoing and she's just a fun girl. So this is Atar and this is called Ayati. Very good, very good. Like, uh, and, and this lasts a really nice amount of time. It does smell like a, <sighs> she's, she goes to Bath and Body Works and she sprays with herself with everything. Then she goes to Victoria's Secret and she spells her, she sprays herself with everything. Fruity, vanilla girl. That's what this is. This is so good. I like it. Prominent note, pineapple. I get a lot of pineapple and I get a lot of ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Now I'm going to go with this one. I think it's been more than 10, right? I'm not so sure. I'm going to go with my way. If I had the chance to choose from my way, the original or the intense, I think I would choose the intense. This is a bubblegum girl. And girl, you spray this and you are set on your date. You're going to smell unique. You Nope, I don't think... To be honest, I don't really smell people smelling like my way from Giorgio Armani. It smells like bubblegum and it just, yeah, it smells like bubblegum to me, but, but like a floral bubblegum. It's so good. It's so easygoing and I can't see that man getting offended with your smell. I think this is a very safe, play it safe date night you're not gonna worry about reapplying or none of that stuff bang but my way is absolutely divine it lasts on your skin and on your clothes and on your hair and you're gonna walk and they're gonna be like Ooh, 
she smells good. Everybody's gonna smell you. Like, ain't nobody gonna tell you nobody's gonna smell you. This is for my fresh girl. This is for my girl that she gets uh, headaches real quick. Although this is a very strong, fruity fragrance, um, it's citrusy, but in such a juicy kiwi way. Kiwi, juicy kiwi. So prominent note is a kiwi. So imagine that you're eating a kiwi and it's submerged in water and fruit and but citrusy fruities fruit f citrusy fr is that even a thing it's citrusy fruity freshy but just so good and it lasts an eternity on your skin on your body but don't think it's like dolce and gabbana uh, that type of fruitness. It's not like that. Maybe like aqua de gia, aqua de joyo, aqua de gio. In Spanish, we say aqua de gio, okay? So it's kind of like the aqua de gio, kind of like the green kind, the green the green bottle. And I really like that one. Um, but you know, I can't mess with Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. Like, I just can't get with it still. It's kind of fruity, kind of like Tangerine Boy, but this one is still like and this one kicks over. This is one that I reach for so much in summer because it's so fresh. You just you you smell so clean, but so sexy and so fruity and so citrusy. Yeah, to stop it. Okay, so that is Valentino Coral Fantasy. Absolutely, Chef's Kiss. Now I'm gonna go with the new one, and this is for my vanilla lovers. That is Poets of Berlin. This. worthless i don't have any words for this this is delicious um i don't do much blind buying i don't know if you guys know maybe i might be a little repetitive with my fragrances but girl i am gonna use my fragrances up and i'm gonna recommend the fragrances that i have already spoken about to you guys a lot of blind buys no more for me i i want to I want to use up my fragrances. I don't want to be buying, 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 buying. But this one, this one has stolen my heart. And this is well worth your money. So this is such a unique vanilla. It, it's a little off-putting if you smell it like this. You're going to be like, what the hell? No. This has blueberry, if I'm not mistaken. I really don't know the notes. But I think it has the blueberry note very present in very citrusy if i don't if i if i remember clearly this is actually floral um i'll put it right here this one is a dupe it's not a dupe because i think this one came out first and then then this one but this has a bamboo note in here that is so unique it has casses and this is just amazing you guys this is a vanilla for summer so you obviously i think you can use this year round but this is a unique vanilla it's kind of citrusy but you're it still dries down to a very fresh delicious vanilla with blueberry and very unique it, i'm just like whoa it does smell very similar S similar it does smell very similar to the one I, I mentioned. I, I can't for, I can't remember the name, but it smells very similar to that one. And I used that one up like there was no tomorrow. I will be getting the big bottle of that one so I can mix both of them up because they are absolutely, they smell the same, except that this one lasts way longer than that one. So you guys, Ports of Berlin. <sighs> Delicioso. Extasioso. Maravilloso. Lo más delicioso que ha existido en vainilla. It just smells absolutely divine. So, you guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. See you on the next one. Besitos a ti.